although there was no footage of this, based on people that I've spoken to close to the situation, uh, Diddy really did punch Drake in the face. Oh, I got that call four o'clock in the morning. Right. I was laying in my bed. And, and, and my phone kept ringing. I'm like, why my phone keep ringing at 4 o'clock in the morning? So I go to look at my phone. And I, it's my dude. Like, my dude. And ain't, you know, he ain't no just random guy in the club. This is somebody that everybody knows. Right. He's like, boy, you wouldn't just believe what happened. I'm like, what? Uh, did he just slap Drake? I'm like, what? Slapped or punched? I heard a slap. He slapped slap. Drake. He was like behind the scenes at, I mean, behind the, behind, behind Club Live. I said, like at the, at the back entrance, back door. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. You call, you, you. but I knew it was real because it was four o'clock in the morning. But you know, everybody know I'd be up because I got to, you know, go do the breakfast club in the morning. But lo and behold, it turned out that it was, it was true. I heard it was over the zero to 100 beat. That's exactly. Well, that's, that's what I heard. That's you know, exactly my, what I heard. My, my, from my sources. That's exactly what I heard. Um, we actually broke that on the breakfast club, by the way. Okay. Like we knew about the whole zero to one hundred beat everything. I knew I knew exactly what it was over immediately. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I'm glad that Drake <laughs> got the zero to one hundred beat. I don't think I'd be checking. Oh yeah, for Diddy doing yeah, the zero I to one hundred beat. Be, let's be clear. Even though my cold heart is very happy that you know Diddy slapped Aubrey. That's just that's just the bullshit in me <laughs> that that appreciates that. I actually uh, sent Diddy an email and said you're my hero. You know. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm, Drake saved us from a whack record. And I would not want to hit Diddy on 0 to 100. I don't either. I don't want to hit Diddy on nothing. Except for old, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that he's still rapping. I, 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 and that's no disrespect to Diddy's legacy, but I'm just surprised he's still rapping. Listen, man. He don't have to rap. And we don't have to listen. That's what you all need to keep in mind. I don't listen to Diddy when he raps. I listen to Diddy when he's talking about business. Right. When he's talking about Ciroc, or he's talking about Revolt. <laughs> Uh, he's talking about you know that new tequila he got out of whatever venture Diddy got going on. I'm, I'm listening to Diddy. I, I'll go to Diddy Instagram and listen to him tell motherfuckers, nigga, stop hating and go out and get something. I like that motivation. Right. I love that motivation. The last verse Diddy ever spit that moved me in any way, shape, or form was on that same damn time remix. I don't know who wrote those bars, but whoever, whoever wrote that shit for Diddy. They caught the essence of Diddy. Like, that shit made me go to the gym. For, I mean, I'm a workaholic anyway, but that shit had me in the gym for three months straight on the treadmill. Boy, your money and my money ain't the same damn kind. I can spend your life and my life at the same damn time. God damn. Yep. That shit hurts. It's like, I got to get on my... Are you talking about James Brown had to work 10 times harder? Oh, I got to work 10 times harder. Yep. I can't be having nobody talk to me uh, like I, that. I would guess that probably Lowe's wrote that. That'd be my guess. Oh, well, did he need to get Lowe's back? Right. Because whoever that was captured the essence of Diddy. Yep. 